If you struggle with shyness or social anxiety, check out our free no BS training course with actual useful advice you can do from home. None of that just get out there nonsense. The link is in the description below. For now, let's get to today's question. The question, is it possible for an introvert to turn into an extroverted and how? Answer by Sven Williams. Work with what you have. You can't really change where you're on the introvert-extrovert axis, because that's likely to be more neurologically determined, but you can change how you employ the tools your psyche gave you. It's entirely possible to be an outgoing introvert, and since introverts make up a decent proportion of the population, it's likely you already know several people who seem extroverted and outgoing, but are just as introverted as you think you are. Don't look at me, I'm an unapologetic hermit and curmudgeon. Social skills aren't something you're born knowing. It's something that's learned, and indeed, there can be some advantages to learning them later in life in the sense that you can reflect on the process and really understand exactly what makes human social life tick. Observe, reflect, and adopt what you see working. Since you mention you're timid, figure out what makes you that way. Is it fear of not being able to measure up to people? Then watch for signs that most people don't really know what they're talking about, and reassure yourself that you're no worse. The big secret behind most confident-seeming individuals is that they're quivering inside but good at projecting an impression of having their proverbial shit together. Is it social anxiety? There's cognitive behavioral therapy, and a host of self-help resources and online communities centered around helping others overcome those hurdles. Figure out your triggers, and then expose yourself to them. Afraid of talking to people? Give yourself homework assignments, talk to at least one stranger a day, then ramp it up until you no longer feel the hesitant to approach people. Observe, reflect, and adapt. Humans are really, really good at that, and especially introverts. Best of luck, answer by, Krishna Singh. When the book Quiet, The Power of Introverts in a World That Can't Stop Talking by Susan Cain was released, it took the world by the storm. Why? People, especially in the West, used to think that it is not good to be an introvert. And that's why their talent was undermined, compromised. Now. Who are the introverts? There are many psychological definition of introversion, but what Susan Cain prefers is, people who prefer quieter, more minimally stimulating environments one. Now, your question. How can an introvert become an extrovert? I don't think it is possible even if the person changes his or her preference. See definition. A person who is an introvert can be outspoken after throwing away his or her shyness. But, an introvert will remain an introvert. He or she will need alone time to recharge himself or herself continually. It is similar to this that an extrovert cannot be an introvert. It is not in our hands, and it's a trait. Normally, introverts become shy due to introversion. Shyness is fear of social judgment and humiliation, and introversion is really preference for less stimulation. But, this shyness can be overthrown. Mahatma Gandhi, Rosa Park, Newton, Einstein, Bill Gates and others are the quintessential introverts not shy, but introverts in a true sense. Susan Cain has also delivered a TED Talks that can be helpful for you. Krishna. Footnotes. 1. Q&A. Q&A with Susan Cain on the power of introverts. Time. Come. Answer by. Benjamin Brandon. You can't. Okay. Don't dismiss this too hastily. Being introverted only means that you are at optimal brain usage while alone. Being an extrovert means that our brains rise to optimal brain usage while in a social situation. This is not to say that introverts are better intellectually, but rather that their brains are in the area that they function best while alone. Instead, you may be asking how to be better with people. If you are an introvert you won't be able to help feeling worn out after social gatherings, and that's nothing to be ashamed of. Right, how to be more energetic around people. Set yourself a challenge. Today, approach someone you would normally talk to and ask them how their day is going. Trust me, it sounds terrifying, but do it. Enter into a conversation. People love to talk about themselves, so ask lots of questions and get some detail. Try the 8020 rule. 80% of the time, look the person you are talking to in the eye. Oh, daunting. Once you become comfortable with that person, you can talk to them the next day or some other time by bringing up something that you talked about previously. Do this more with new people, and soon you'll have much better people skills.